Let's now talk about animation on the timeline, specifically the ability to control different bones using your red channels. First, I have Gruuly imported onto a blank document, once again, ready to go. We're going to just come over here and click once on that bone layer, and you'll see that we have access to keyframes already established for this character. And keyframes essentially mean we have animation on the timeline. Now, when we come in here and we look at this, if we click and drag on the green arrow with the white line, that allows us to change the position of the timeline and we can scrub forward and see what's going on. We can also come over here and hit the play button if we wish, or use the space bar to play out the animation. Now, let's say specifically we want to change just one element of this. We want to make sure one of the arms doesn't animate. For whatever reason, that is just something we want to do. Now, this is where the gray and red channels will come in handy. So let's say this front arm right here. I want to first demonstrate that I have the select bone tool currently selected, and I'm clicking off so that nothing is selected. You'll notice on the timeline here that we only have gray channels currently active. And the gray channels show us any animation on the rig that's currently going on. So if we move an arm, let's say at frame six, we're just going to come in here and we move this arm. You can see that it recorded gray animation using the gray channels on the timeline. And this is indicating somewhere on the rig, in this case, the arm, since we know that there is going to be animation. So it doesn't matter what you move. So I can move this arm. You can see that we have another point added. We can move the leg. You can see that it records a point right there. Now, as I'm doing this, you may notice that the red channels are appearing. And this is indicating what bones are currently selected. Right now, only this target bone is selected right here. And on the red channel, we are seeing animation only for this target bone. If I were to click on the select bone tool and then click on the foot, actually, that might not be the best example. Let's click on the body right here. You can see that the timeline changes depending on what bone I'm selecting. So that red channel will change. So whenever you have bone selected, you can then go in and choose to manipulate just the keyframes of that particular bone without disrupting the animation of the entire rig. And a good example of this would be just to come in here and perhaps remove some animation from a certain select few bones. So let's come over here and you can see that the arm is currently animating. I'm just going to click on the bones, holding in shift and clicking on each bone. Coming down here to the timeline for the red channel, we're just going to come in here and select all of the red channel keys and then just remove them. Now, when we animate this out, you can see that the arm is not animating like it was. It's going along with the body because this arm is attached to the torso bone and the torso bone is moving. But in terms of individual animation, it's just stationary. And this is how you can work with your red channels. And this is sort of a more drastic example, removing animation from an entire limb. But I think it gives you a good idea of how this can be achieved. So again, if you just wanted to remove animation or add animation specifically to a certain point, you can come in here and pay attention to your red channels. Again, I just removed the red channels for the tail. You can see now the tail won't animate as he moves along. But again, if we were to try to come in here and let's say manipulate the leg, you know, and we're not using the channels to do so, we just don't want the leg to animate like this. And we can't went in here and remove some keys that were on the gray channel. You're removing all sorts of animation across the entire rig. So if you want to manipulate the entire rig at once, use the gray channels. If you want to hone in and do individual animations on bones, make tweaks, what have you, use the red channels. And again, you can find those red channels by simply just clicking on a bone. And then once animation is added to it, you'll see that channel appear and you can make your changes.